the legs pushing up on the I'm stairs. I'm feeling it. Throw the high that you get from the line. If you feel the rage of hell in the sky. I'm so, I... I, I I haven't really talked about the Suicide Squad kill the Joker or whatever because the the game is dead. We already know that Warner Brothers lost a shit ton of money. And I didn't want to talk about the Joker because they made him gay and everything like that. That, that game is it's on a level of it, it really wanted to sabotage the Batman Arkham like franchise. I've never seen a studio like Rocksteady killed their own studio and franchise like that. Like, literally, they did not think this was not going to... But, anywho, let's talk about this new Mrs. Freeze. Now, let me tell you something about Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is one of those other characters in Batman that is done right, follow the animated series route. He could be a well-destructive, well-written character. I'm still waiting for the movies to do with him justice because the anime series as of today is still the best interpretation of Mr. Motherfucker Freeze. Hands down. Just saying. Of Motherfucker Freeze. So, we get to this one right here. Miss Karen Frouse. I don't know her name. I'm just calling her Karen Frouse. Miss KF. Miss Karen Frouse. And I'm looking at this look like... Not only is the ugly ver version of her or version of him, wherever you want it, wherever, it's like, why? Why the fuck are you doing this? Like, what is going on with these studios today? Follow the source material. If you want to do your multiverse, if you want to do your Elseworlds, fine, do it. But don't you come out here and say, oh, it's connected. It's connected to the Arkham games. No, the fuck is not. This is bullshit. This is trash. How you want people to pay? I'm not paying for this shit. And if you are playing the game and you paying for it, please re-examine your brain. Why would you pay for an ugly version of Mr. Freeze? Multiverse or not, it's ugly. It's sad that the Gotham version is better than this version. And to me, that version is not that good. However, there was effort put to that version. There ain't no effort put into this shit. It's garbage. You wonder why people say, go woke, go broke. Look at Suicide Squad, killed the Joker. That is the definition of go woke and you're motherfucking broke. A game put a studio out of business. Warner Brothers came out and said you lost us $400 million. I could be wrong with the number. I think it was four, maybe three, but it's a, lot, it's a high number. That's fucking ridiculous. But you had the audacity to put this out there. You better beg a DLC with Mr. Freeze, not with no Karen Frost. But yet you have the audacity to say the fans are the problem. This is the problem. No, you jamokes, you're the fucking problem. This game deserves every motherfucking thing they get. I hope they lose more money. Oh, we'll put it out there because the fans, the little two, three people will buy it. They're not. It still won't make up the money you motherfucking lost for the studio. They actually showed a trailer. I think this was PlayStation. They showed a trailer for DC Universe Online. That game has came out almost two decades ago. I, I repeat myself. DC Universe. Because... Why? People will still play that game because that game was actually a uniquely good game. You know why it was? It wasn't trying to push no woke shit. It actually was telling a story. You made your own DC character in the world. That was kind of cool. X-Men Destiny tried to do that, but the less we talk about that motherfucker, the better. Anywho, and it worked. And that was fun. Characters, story, the gameplay. Depending on what the system, what type of game it is. The Suicide Squad. You can't even say gameplay was good because people talk shit about that. It's just a bad game in general. It's one of the worst games that ever came out for DC. One of the worst. And we have a lot of bad mobile games. And that, I'll play them over that fucking Suicide Squad killed the Joker. Or killed the Justice League. Excuse me, I said killed the Joker, sorry. But no, I'm done. Like, I looked at this and I just shook my head. I said, mm, mm, mm. 
the dumb leads the dumb, the blind leads the blind, and the jackass would still run the company and put it out of business. That's all I got to say. If you don't want stuff like this, don't support it. And I think we have gave them our message. I think they have now realized sweet baby ink ain't no ink. Sweet baby put you out of business. That's what the fuck they are. So, as always, guys, you hit the like button. Like, subscribe. Peace. Have a Johnson day. Then never learn. Never learn.